Yeah. Finally, Gen C. Hi. I'm from, from Singapore. Singapore. Oh, what is the name? Yeah. Maybe I can help him, but don't attack me. Oh. Oh. Uh, I just had my very hearty lunch, the tally at Open Sky Cafe. So right now I'm heading towards Lakshmi Temple. I do like this kind of very small snack shop. It's, it's, it's very cool. Yeah. Very self-contained mama shop. There's all this ancient monument sprouting around in this part of the town. But yeah, I think that's just a normal facade. There's nothing in there. All these houses are built around the monuments. Yeah, the temples, the great monuments. Stay, train ticket, flight ticket, everything ticket. Okay. Actually, wanted to try those nutty things. Wonder how it tastes like. Oh, right. Trying to get out of this traffic congestion. Once you got out of the traffic congestion, it's back to the normal trunk queue. Small town with small town charm over here. All right. <laughs> When do I kind of have enough courage to attack the local food? I don't know. I don't know whether that, that time will come. I very much would like to, but it's just that oh yeah, there are just too many butts here. <laughs> because once I get ill, then I would have to be grounded at one place. I think that's the last thing that I want to see myself in. So here are the not so rich people staying there. Very run down. One thing I like about this place is that the kids here, they are very friendly. Unlike in some city, they would, I think kids will just come up to you and asking for money. I think that's, that's a very super turn off thing to do. But over, over here so far, I've not encountered this. Finger crossed that I won't have to encounter this. If I'm not wrong, Lakshmi Temple is right in front. I saw a very grand building at the end of the road. Yeah, these are the very ancient looking weighing scale. So these are the weights, 20 kilogram, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So it's a, it's a balance. Yeah, this is how you weigh things long long time back thank you so that's the direction 
Okay, speed tempo. Perch right on top of a hilltop. So it's a slight slope up. And look at the blue sky. I've not seen blue sky in India for quite a long time. In fact, my first time since I landed in India. Oh, that's... Look at the fresco. The ceiling fresco. I believe it's still the original state with no restoration. There's the Lakshmi temple. Lakshmi is the wife of one of the great gods. <laughs> I forgot which one. I'm, I'm so <laughs> ill informed. But um, Lakshmi is the goddess of wealth. So that's Ocha. Hmm. Let me see whether there's anything to see up here. Okay. Not a very big temple. Oh, not a very big building. It's a big temple. Just like most of the monument here, this monument is literally empty. That's precisely why I like this place. I can't help but admire this wall painting. Especially the ceiling. There are stories depicted on the wall. All these holes are presumably for the guns. Yeah, these are for the guns. Notwithstanding the fact that Ocha is situated right in the middle of India, so there's bound to be a lot of conflicts going on. This very powerful piece of building, painting. Oh, and this palace. So there is even guns and cannons back then. The best building, the best painting is in fact at the shrine of Lashmi. But I'm not going too near because I'm wearing shoes. So oh, there's even crocodile there. Snakes.
This is very interesting. Oh. oh, okay. Sorry, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't go in. Oh, oh. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. I thought. <laughs> All right, I'm done with Lakshmi Temple. So a couple more of temples to go. Does it need help? Maybe I can help him, but don't attack me. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, all right. <laughs> oh. Okay, okay, okay. It's my fault. <laughs> I'm just trying to help. Okay. Oh, what a cold, close shave. <laughs> oh, it is so hot. <laughs> oh gosh. Right, all these are uh, herbs. There's a lot of infrastructure building around this place. So trying to make things better for tourists. Maybe they can start building a big air conditioner room. <laughs> Wow, this tree has got such beautiful aerial notes, aerial roots. Yeah. Well, let me show you. Even the cows are resting under the shade. I walked to the edge of Vocha. Oh, come to come across this gate with a wall. It looks like a great wall of Vocha. <laughs> it wasn't that high, not as tall as the Great Wall of China, but certainly very distinctive. I don't know how... What oh, can you see there? Okay. That's not too tall or high. Okay. That's it. That's about it of this place. Anyway, I've walked the wrong path. <laughs> yeah, I did not turn. So, I did not turn when I'm supposed to turn it. <laughs> so that's why that led me to the edge of the town. Oh, oh gosh. All right, I'm supposed to do a backtrack back into the town again. So the ladies have their scarf on their head, and me too. <laughs> well, I missed this sign. But you can't blame me for missing this sign. <laughs> 
I should be turning in instead of going straight. So what exactly is this that I have to die die go and see and go and touch? You will know it later. Any idea what the next thing I'm going to see? Give you a clue. That's the clue. Okay, so it's at the corner of this. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't look like it's somewhere I can walk to. I suspect someone is going to build an enclosure over this, probably to make some money after that. Currently it's free of charge. Yes. Now, do you know what is it? There's only one thing that is unique in your fuel site. Yep, that's the one. It's a very unique tree here. It's very special. I will tell you more about it once I'm able to... So there's a war between me and good luck. Yes, this is the good luck tree. A wishing tree. Okay, good thing there's a slope here. Can get through the wall. But how about the other side? Mm. Okay, I've scaled the wall. Now all I need to do is just to jump. This is the good luck tree. Let's get closer. Yeah, finally. It's not too close, it's not too far away from the Lakshmi temple, which is over there. But I seem to walk a big round for some reason or the other. Okay, now that I am at the wishing tree, what should I wish for? Okay, since I'm on YouTube, so maybe my first wish is to yeah, make sure that I get monetized at YouTube. at YouTube okay so are there any other wish yeah maybe okay but I would just want to keep it for myself Boop. How is following me? Oh no. Maybe he's scared. Of, he's scared of me. Bye bye. So now I have to find a way to get out of this place. The 
wall is a little bit high to climb over now. And this place seems to be totally enclosed by wall. How does the cow come in? <laughs> does the cow know how to climb the wall? Like I said, the cow is very smart. It's not it's not stupid at all, those cows. Yeah. These are very smart cows. <laughs> so if a cow can come in, I think a human can as well. Yes. That's true, this small opening. Oh, thank you cow. Thanks for showing me the way. And yeah, bye. I'll come back if my wishes come true. Hello, hi. Huh? I oh, know it's okay. Thank you. Remember, we just walked past here. Oh, I'm seriously dehydrated. Yeah, I really, really need to get down for a drink or oh, some shit, whatever sort. Right, I'm at Ocha right now. Just finished my wishing tree wishing. So hoping for more subscribers. Yeah, so that's the first one. <laughs> Immediately, yeah, just less than 10 minutes. Right, so what's your name? My name is Krishna Singh Chauhan. Okay, what do you want to say? I will give you, yeah, you say. Yeah. My name is Krishna Singh Chauhan. How old are you? I'm fine. My soft name is Supra, Supra Journal is true. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What What do you wish to be when you grow up? Huh? Okay. When you grow up, what do you want want to do? Do you want to study hard? Yes. You want to study hard? Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, get into a good school. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And My then... school name is Lord Rama Global School. Okay. So, what do you What subjects do you like most? Maths. Maths? Are you good in maths? Yes. Okay, what is 10 times 5? 10? 10 times 5. Okay, 5 plus 5. Right, 10. Alright, 10 times 2? 10, 2. Wow, you're great. How old are you? Sorry, you're how old again? 5. 12. 12 years old? 11 years old. Okay, so you're studying. <laughs> it's okay, relax. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah, bye. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. Okay. Oh gosh, it's like a pit stop for me. Wow. Wow. Oh, I can't stand it. I need water. I need water. Wow. Water, 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 water. Okay, that's where I'm staying. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Hello? Oh, do you have water? Do you have ice? Um, not ice water. Uh, cold drinks? Cold yeah, what kind of cold drinks do you have? Yes, cold drinks. Yeah, cold. Uh, Coke or. Cold this. water that you use. No, no. Uh, soft drink. Do you have soft drink? Yes. Finally! Wow! Oh! Beyond words! I'm going into the marketplace again! In fact, a few times I've been trying to avoid this because there are just too many people. Hmm. Have 
Have I gone in here before? I don't think so. I'm trying to taking a different path each time. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm good. Where are you from? I'm from Singapore. No. Thank you. <laughs> yep, I'm very sure I've not walked this path before. Hey, hello. Money. <laughs> no money. Money, hello. <laughs> I only have love, money. but no money. Money, I know you love money. money oh, what is this? Don't know. I don't exactly know where I am now, but yeah. But it's so nice to just walk around randomly. Hi. Hello. Looks like someone's garden. Uh, hi. But I know for sure in front is the main road. So that's the way, that's the main road that I usual restaurant is. Hello. Namaste. Wow, cool at Nasi. Oh yes, cool at Nasi. I think that's the one that I wanted to eat. Ah, I'm just struggling. <laughs> Anyway, I'm back to the fort again because I realized that there is a place that I have missed out. <laughs> yeah. I think it's such a shame because my SIM card is not working properly. Then I had to go back to my hostel to, to kind of, uh, yeah, other than having a rest, charge my battery, I also do some reading up. So it's back to where I came this morning. Beautiful paintings. But too bad, I think I'm walking all over the India. So I can't afford to lock so many things with me. The Strom Bridge. We were here before this morning. Back to the fort again. But I'm not going in there. I'm going elsewhere. It's always so magnificent looking at that. Oh. Impressive. Hello, hi. So, this is not... Behind is not the way I'm going. I'm going to... Let me just have a look. It should be this way. I've not been to this place. This part. Wow, oh, look at the fort behind me. Wow. <laughs> It's still, it's still a marvel, <laughs> despite the fact that I came in this morning.
this part of the town houses a few ruins. This is one of them. I don't think this is worth seeing. And anyway, there's no emission. Yeah. Ah, uh, there's another one. It seems to me that someone has used it as their own dwelling. Look at the clothes hanging there. I believe the one in front is the one that I'm going to. This is Rai Pravin Mahal. This small palace and its adjoining large garden were built in 1572 by Indraj Singh for his consort Rai Pravin, who is an accomplished poet, singer and dancer. So, this is a side palace. There seems to be some renovation work going around. What's all this holes for? Is it a fountain last time? I couldn't make up what exactly that is. Okay, this is a small palace. No emission, I believe. Overlooking Mahal. Yep, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what's that for? Okay, that's all. <laughs> I'm leaving this place. That's a mus very Muslim archway. Going around this fort in a circle. Looks like a Hindu temple. Oh, so hot. Oh, can't wait to get into the shade. So I'm just trying to mop up some of the areas that I have not covered when I came here this morning. Oh, what a beautiful backdrop. So there's this wall and then behind that, there's a piece of cloud. <laughs> so this is another abandoned house. But if you look at the carving, the elephant carving. That's it. Short and sharp. They're doing some restoration work here trying to restore the lost glory of this place. Around it, they built houses for the concubine, for everybody, yeah, for the officers. Okay, I saw this interesting thingy. I think last time it was done by a horse going around in circle. Now they use a tractor to do it. Oh, what's that for last time? I think last time it's to grind Weeds and all those things, but now what are they trying to do? I got no idea. Koti. I think by now I know roughly what Koti means. It's a building. Okay, that's in Hindi. They seal up the door. So we, I came down from this ramp this morning after finishing the two palaces or citadel yeah, it's the same road the one in front, that's the tall temple that I went this morning as well 
I am still so amazed by the archway. <laughs> yeah, I was like playing, catching, <laughs> or just kind of uh, walking around the hallway. Oh, that is so impressive. Oh. Yeah, I think I'm going to remember this place. Ocha as all this architecture. This monkey is really gallop. You see, look at that. Galloping. Yeah, I just stopped by talking to a French guy. Yep, interesting. So he shared with me a new place. Uh, let me see. It's called Mashua. <laughs> okay, yeah. All right. <laughs> I I hope I can remember. Yeah. So I don't know how many times I've walked this stretch of road already. Hello. It's probably, I think last night once, and then today I think two or three times. That's the full palace view. With the bridge, the city mode, yeah, and the two castle over there. Just now the French told me that he points out that there's there's some there's a crocodile. Yeah, over there. And then he showed me the picture of the crocodile. I have uh, also taken so yeah I'm gonna kind of paste it here in case you want to see it this is the first time I see people harvesting the wheat of course not counting those that I saw it in National Geography yeah I think these weeds are ready to be harvested. This is the river. The palace is on the left hand side. So the water from the palace moat flows into this river. Can you see the city wall yeah that's the edge of the city the citadel so plus the river it reinforced the defense capability of the citadel look at the forest out there hey do you see some people Swimming in there by the side tributaries. I told you the water is very clean. I can even see the bottom of the river. It's just that there are people throwing rubbish along the river bank. Yeah, that's pretty turn off what are you thinking about? I'm walking outside towards the outside outskirt of uh, Ocha. So there's a highway over here. I think they have done up the highway very well. Although it's very much underutilized. Ocha. 
that's 360 degree angle. Oh, that's 360? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rotating, rotating. Yeah, it rotates, yeah. yeah. That's So this angle is the best angle to take sunset pictures. Yep, I just jumped across this barrier and I realized that there is a bridge below that leads all the way to the other bank. Maybe I should yeah, go there and then start walking on this old bridge. And this is the best sunset view of this city it's not sunset yet I think it's still a couple of hours away I don't think I will want to stay that long yeah but yep I think that's enough for me let me try to go down to the bridge and cross the bridge there but first I have to get through the stupid monkey the very territorial yeah hopefully the monkeys are gone by now so yeah just now the monkey was just one over here one the other day yeah so I was trying to cross this but they do not allow me to get past and they give me that angry snares and then with mouth open yeah I think the monkeys are gone. Good riddance. So this is the other side of the bank. Actually, the view is much better if you catch it across the river. Yeah, but given that this opposite side is a little bit shoddy, so I think I better avoid. Yeah, this is exactly the monkey. I think he's, he's the alpha male looking at the backside. So these are two cows guarding the road. So before this highway is built, I believe this is the old way to go into Ocha. So that road just go down straight and then there's a bridge, the, the, the bridge, the old bridge over there. Then at some point, at some point in time, at some point in time, yeah, they, someone decided to build a new bridge. Yeah, that's the monkey. I think there's a baby there. Of course, I'm not going to disturb them. So that's Ocha. Welcome to Ocha. Yep, this is the old way to into Ocha. That's the highway that we walked on earlier. Yeah, that's the sunset view. Uh, yeah, the sun is still rather quite high up. That's very beautiful. That's the Ocha Gut over there. Wow, the water so looks so inviting. Yeah, I just feel like jumping in for a swim. Let me see what that does. So there are some rocks over there. Yeah. I would just swim across. So that's the other side of the river. I think they create a sort of a dam here. Yeah. So by blocking the water, choking up, choking it up. So it creates a it creates a pool of water here. Yeah. If not, it'll be just as shallow as as uh, over here. Yeah. So this is better. I think this is much better. So it's a good choice that they ram, dam it up. 
Hello. I think lots of youngsters are playing the water here. I kind of like this place because I think there are people walking along the streets and then say hi to you. Yeah. I think that's something that you couldn't find it if you are in big city. People think that you're mad. So that's the other side of the river bank. Let me walk further in. So that's the gut for up. Oh, it looks like the water might rise 10 meters. <laughs> just, it's hard sticking to the wall. Life as a blogger is tough. It's not easy. Yeah. Bloggers always look for support. If you like what you see so far, consider hitting the subscribe button. <laughs> okay, that's a cheap trail. This is the Ocha God. We are very inland. We are nowhere near the sea. I think the sound of a lapping wave make me feel like I'm at the at the seashore. Yeah, at the seaside. So there's this Raj Boat Club, so where they organize boat rides. In front are the tombstone, yeah, of the kings. So earlier you have seen the residents of the king when they are alive, and now when they are dead, so they are buried here. Over here, yeah. So look at these clusters of towers. So this is uh, probably my last of my... Remember that is this checklist that I was given? Yeah, that's probably my last. I've more or less completed everything that was being asked to do so. Thank you, thank you, Sunset Hostel. Hello. 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 Oh. Hello. Oh. Hello. oh. Oh my gosh. Welcome, sir. Oh. Welcome to India. Welcome. Yeah. So that's the barrel place. So, I think I might have figured out something. So normally, barrel places are very close to the river Ganges. I suspect that could be Ganges. I might not. Yeah, it's just not. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But yeah. So if they have got all this grave that is built next to the Ganges River. I think that probably join dots. Ah, I think they are making some movies here. And then with drones. I don't know what they are shooting. But they got much better equipment than I do. Yes, yep. So talking about gods. So this is probably what I distilled from Varanasi. Yeah, so they have got all these very beautiful houses. I mean that that uh I mean for the rich people to check in okay before just before they die and then 
immediately after after so then they will be burnt here and then kind of uh, yeah, the ashes got go into the river yeah. I think that's my suspicion okay I've, I've not I've not read up enough to to confirm that oh. that is so surreal so these are the I don't know what you call that but I think probably it's some ceremonial places yeah Of course, they stop burning ash. They stop cremating bodies at most part of the river, okay. except Varanasi. I think all the more I think this is Ganges because you possibly will not drink any drink from any river I think should I touch Ganges? yeah I've not when I was in Varanasi I've not touched it yeah, so maybe I should touch it uh, uh, yeah touching it uh, yes oh fuck <laughs> the dog bucks <laughs> I almost fell into the river oh. give me a fucking fright Hello, you're scaring me, man. There are some people making film over the other side. Of course, I'm not going to make any noise, minimum noise. Sunset. So now I'm at the second level. Ah, those two in front are the Bollywood star. I'm not sure who they are. Beautiful sights. Right, time for me to get down. Oh. What goes up must come down. So this is the catarist. I think there's a filming schedule in there. So they are quite harsh on people taking pictures in there. So I had one of the pictures being deleted by them. Ah. Okay, so these guys are watching filming in progress. I mean, frankly, I don't exactly know who the Bollywood stars are. So, okay, anyway. Hmm, how do I go back? I'll look at the settings then. Wow, this is so bloody innovative to have the food to have the dining area above the food cart that is yeah it's one of the more innovative stuff they have done on a uh, on food cart so this is a typical wedding car i believe yes finally i've completed all the tasks that is being assigned to me for ocha so now i'm gonna uh, Happy man. Yeah. 
So this is the last task, which is by the riverside. Oh. So time to go for a meal. That's you. That's your dear friend. Yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I am back at the marketplace. Oh, this cow is looking at me menacing. Yeah. I probably am very much in touch with the road here already. I can just make up where exactly I am after one whole day of walking around this place. Yep, here's my canteen. <laughs> Hello. Hi, I'm here for dinner. Can I? Okay. Hi. I'm at the Open Sky restaurant again because there's just this few restaurants that I can go to for my dinner. So this is what I'm ha having tonight. This is lemon rice. Okay, I think where they put in lemon, onions and uh, coriander, I think. And this is uh, egg curry. Where are the eggs? Oh, so these are the eggs. Okay. And this is papaya lassi. Do you see the citadel being illuminated at the background? Yeah, this is exactly where I am. So, let's try the rice first. Mm. Yep, lemon rice. Oh, it's hot. Okay, that's the curry. Very rich. I think if you put lemon into fried rice, I think that's so appetizing. Yeah. And this. Yeah. Mm. I think I like this. I like the, the way they do the fried rice. Maybe I can do it at home. Yeah, I didn't know that lemon can be added in as fried rice. I will try it at home for sure. So that's the night scene. That's the light up of the uh, Jahaga Castle. Yep, so the foreground, which is the Maha Castle, is not lighted up. So that's why there is uh, yeah, some kind of uh, some, some buildings being blocking it. This is the main road that cut across Ocha. Very quiet, right? I thought I like it that much, yeah. So it has got a small town charm. I'm trying to capture some of the night shots of Ocha. Yeah, starting with this. Right, so... Yeah, this is where it start to heat up. There's lots of... Lots of stores here. But generally, I think the people are pretty good. Uh, they don't... They don't do hard selling. That's what I like about this place. So that's the gate behind me. Hello. Hello, hi. No, I'm okay. Yeah, that's a beautiful 
temple which has lighted up This place is like a center of the town. Everybody just come here, congregate here, and chat. I'm very amazed with this temple. Oh, very pretty light up. Yeah. I think I've not went to this part of the town. Okay, that's the gate again. Oh. I think there's some free food given to devotees. That's very up close and personal. Oh, look at that. Not sure whether can we go in? Oops. Wow. Look at that. Hello. Hey, Hi. man, what are you doing here? I am trying to take some video okay. of this place. Can I? You are smoke? No, I don't. Oh, so it's closed. No. Yeah, the door is closed. Yeah, the door is closed. Okay. okay. Tomorrow for 80 pm. For 80 pm. All right. 80 pm. Thank you. Oh, yeah, trying to smoke. <laughs> Hello. Where are you from? I'm from Singapore. Singapore. Yeah. Okay. Have a nice day. Okay, bye. Bye. Continue. Continue what you are doing. Yep. Unfortunately, it's closed, but the lights are still up, which is still great. I'm going to miss this. I'm Hello. I'm good. These are the toys and the accessories. You can find all the statue in there and the sweets here
Now I'm coming here earlier. As compared to last night, I was here about 9, 10 p.m. Yeah, so there are a lot more stalls here. So there are prayers in the Hindu temple. Yeah, just next to me. And then there's a last prayer session at 10.30. Do you see the new moon? And below the new moon, there seems to be a, a star. Over there, there's a dot. That's strange. I don't know what star is that, but it kind of uh, just below the, the crescent. And it's like almost 90 degrees below. It looks like a man-made thing, but I don't think so. So I'm walking back to my hostel, which is quite a short distance. So these are the street food, which I have yet to try. <laughs> I've been like saying that like a broken recorder. Uh, that's a fan thing. Uh, women's clothing section. Yep. Surprisingly, there are not many restaurants that caters to foreigners. I think this is another one. Trip advisor. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, I just spotted it like today. And I'm leaving tomorrow. So, too bad. So this is a mobile repair shop. Okay. Get the dust. People are starting to close their shop for the day. Tonight is the first night of Ramadan. So over in the Indian continent, they celebrate Ramadan one day I won't call it Ramadan, the starting of the fasting, one day after everybody else. That's only happened in the Indian continent. The rest of the places like Singapore, Malaysia, Thailand, Arabia, yeah, they already started Ramadan yesterday. Okay, that's the mama shop. Yeah, that's just the road that I always remember. This is Home Run, Sunset Hotel. Okay, I have a new neighbor today. I'm not sure whether... Are there anybody in there? No! Home sweep home again! Next morning. Good morning from Ocha. Yeah, as you can see, I've just done my checkout. So right now I'm heading to the 
Shed Tut Tut, yeah, which is uh, about a kilometer away from where I'm staying. So hopefully I can get cheap transportation from Ocha to Jensi. I paid about 330 or 350, yeah, from Jensi to to Ocha. Ocha. So right now, hopefully I can share my tutu with some other strangers. Yeah, that I can kind of uh, lower my cost. On the whole, I pretty much like Ocha. In fact, this is my one of my most favorite town of or, or, or city in the in, in in this trip so far. I think what appeals to me is the tranquility. I like it uh, so called. I mean, I like it quiet here as compared to other places. So different people has got different liking. Okay, but I think to me, able to just walk on the street in a very leisure manner, I think that that is that is a great plus to me. Wow, there are two arches here. I just went through one, and then now there's another one. That's a cow <laughs> stalking me. Yeah, I believe I've reached the Shat Tut Tut place. Given that there's a lot of Tut Tut lying around here, let me go now. Go around asking the price. Shat Tut Tut. Share, share, tutuk. Share, tutuk. Share, share, share. Share? Yeah. Yeah. Hundred rupees to one one person. Huh? Hundred rupees to one person. Hundred rupees? Yes, one person. Ah, Jancy. Jancy, Jancy, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Ma, that's your giant bed. Okay. One hundred rupees, huh? One hundred. Okay. Okay, bus stand. Now? Bus stand. Huh? Bus stand. Yes, yes. Railway station. Yes. How much? Two hundred. Ah, bus stop. But, but one hundred. Okay. Uh, bus stop. Bus stop. <laughs> Alright. And now? Yeah. Bus stop to no. How are they? Bus stop. Gen C bus stop. Gen yeah, yeah. yeah. C bus stop. Uh, no, no. One hundred. Okay. Yes, sir. Luggage. Yes, come. That car is one more. Okay, two fifty. Yeah. Okay. Why are they? All right, I'm leaving. Oh, do you want me to push? <laughs> right, the cow is even faster. Okay. Rather than uh, waiting for this to, to, to fill up, I negotiated a price of uh, 250 to the railway station. So if uh, if I were to take a shed to tut, that will be 100, but that's to the bus station, and from bus station I need to take another transport. So if directly to this. Railway station, then the shed to tut will cost 250 sorry, 200 rupees. So I myself just negotiated, pop in another 50 rupees more for this person to for this person to send me to the railway station directly and now. Yeah, so I don't have to wait for anyone. Okay, bye bye. Good job. I'm paying about 330 rupees when I came in but that's given the fact that it is at night yeah so that's the premium that I have to get so it seems to me that 
the going price for Tutut is about two, three hundred dollars. Yeah, three hundred rupees. I think if you can negotiate it to two hundred fifty, I think that's okay for for foreigners, of course. Right. In the end, uh, yeah, I have to chat with another person. station How much? How much? How much? How much? How Sometimes they can give you certain kind of surprise.